Hello friends, welcome to our channel CSC Gurus. Coming to the question number 71, the following numbers are inserted into empty binus H tree. So these numbers are given. What is the height of the binus H tree? So what is the height? And of course here I have given how it will be when I construct. And of course once again, how to construct this one we'll see. Uh, we'll start from 10 and 1 is less than 10. That's why left side. And 3 is less than 10 is greater than 1 like this and 5 is less than 10 and greater than 1 and greater than 3 so like this 15 is greater than 10 directly to the right 12 is greater than 10 directly to the right for 15 less than 12 here 16 greater than 10 right side greater than 15 again right right like this it will be constructed and what we need to find height of the binus ht which is the maximum distance from root to the last so that means height will be 1 2 3 so 3 is the height and where you, which contributes four nodes right so like this we have, we can take where you have level this is 0 level 1 level 2 level 3 and the height is totally and uh, how many height is it is taken from 0 height is 3 here that is what it is asking maximum distance from leaf node to the root node so like this we can take the answer is option C and here we are counting the distance according to the edges so that's what it is asking the distance this is a 1 is a distance so 2 3 like this it is so that's why it is 3 Moving on to the question number 72. So it is the following left rotate and right rotate functions commonly used in self-adjusting binus h trees. It's, it's like balancing binus h trees. We'll have rotations, right? So like left, left rotation, left, right, right, left, and right, right. So here it is given T1, T2, T3. Okay. So these are the surplus rooted with the Y. It's here it is a Y rooted on the left side. And of course here on the right side, Y okay on x okay which of the following is the tightest upper bound for left rotate and right rotate operation see here the question is this t3 is a subtree t1 is a subtree t2 see whatever it may be the subtree if you have want to have a rotations here that can be done in that can be done in constant complexity right so where you even if it is whatever it may be you can have the rotations here itself right so that's why the complexity is big of 1 so it's not like going till the last everything so always you can get even anyway sometimes if if you have generally you can have rotations here itself that's it not more than that so that's why constant complexity which is option a coming to question number 73 consider a situation where swap operation is very costly now the thing is which of the following sorting allows should be preferred so that the number of swap operations are minimized so here you can observe where the swap operations are costly that means first you check it out in which sorting technique the swap operations are very less or in which operation swap operations are more so if they are very less then i can select that sorting only right so in heap might be more selection we'll check you see in selection what happens first you need to find what is the smallest then swap right let us suppose if there are six element in worst case you might get six swappings only right so you have to find the smallest and taken into the first position next position like this at most not only six you'll get only five right so i think here we'll get in selection side we'll get less number of swappings but finding the minimum value that is another issue but swappings are very less here in session you will find more in case sometimes you will find more right so if an element is smallest and here you have five elements so it has to be swapped with five elements right so next method also you might have but only in selections are you are first finding the smallest at the end that means only in the if it is two nested for loops you are making the swapping in one loop only right outside loop only not inside loop so that's why most in selections are there is a chance of getting 
less number of swappings compared to the remaining sorting techniques. If you want to know clearly about selection sort or all this, I kept the videos in my YouTube channel. Clearly, I explained each sorting technique with example, with program, and with execution. You can check it out. Everything. Coming to question number seventy-four. Uh, given an array of elements, which of the following is the correct sequence of elements after inserting all the elements in a min heap? So min heap. What is the min heap here? So the descendants are always greater than the element. That is, let us suppose if you take root, all the descendants should be less greater than for any subtree. Okay, all the descendants should be greater than. That is min heap, and we have seen about max heap, right? Completely reverse. So here, so after inserting, let us see how the min heap will come. We'll see uh, for these elements first five I'll insert next here seven so seven is greater than five satisfied next nine here yeah satisfied all the descend descendants of five are less than right greater than right you can see now one see here one is greater than is it greater than seven no swap here now one with the parent one with five no. So swap here. So here five, here nine, here seven. Now the next element three. Three has to come here, but we'll see five and three. Okay, three is less than five. That's why swap here. So and you can see three and one. Yeah, they are satisfying. Three is greater than one. Next ten. Ten has to come here. Anyway, it is greater than nine. That is fine. Next eight. Is it greater than nine? No. Swap here. Now is it greater than one? Yes. No need of M. Again swapping. Now four. Four has to come here, right? So next lot four seven. Yes, four is not greater than. So seven here, four here. Four is greater than three. Yes, true. So now the answer is one three eight four five. Yeah, the answer is one three eight four five. Ten, nine, seven. If you go with the level order, and if I see in the answer, I think nowhere you find right. So it is asking. It is an array of elements. The correct sequence means it is. I think it is asking in an array. What is the correct sequence in min heap? Definitely, it is in increasing order, right? Increasing order. Whereas uh, max heap, decreasing order. You might get. So that's why it is increasing order. You have to take here. What is the increasing order? Option D. Directly. If it is a level order traversal, I can take this one. One, three, eight. Like this, we can consider the descendant should be always greater than the node that we'll take. So our answer is option E. Yeah, coming to the question number seventy-five. Uh, following array represents a binary max heap. Which one? Max heap means I told you like. Every time the element, the descendant should be always less than the element, parent element. So we'll see which is satisfying this property. Clearly, check it out. So twenty-six. I'll check it out. Twenty-six, thirteen. Here seventeen. Here. So descendants less than. Whenever it is not, I'll skip it. Fourteen. Yeah, it is not following. So that's why this option is not correct. So I'll check for this one. Twenty-six, fifteen, fourteen, seventeen. Yeah, this also fifteen and seventeen. So not satisfying. This also not. Yeah, we'll check for this one. Twenty-six, fifteen, seventeen. Fine. Fourteen, eleven. Fine. Nine is fine. Thirteen fine. Yeah. This is fine. You can see for every node, fifteen, fourteen, and eleven, seventeen, nine, and thirteen. You can check it out. Don't compare fifteen with nine and ten. Thirteen. Don't compare seventeen with fourteen and eleven. So only to that extent, to that path only, we need to check it out. For twenty-six, you have to check all. Okay. So this is fine. Anyway, we'll check for this one also. Twenty-six, fifteen, thirteen, fourteen, eleven. 
that is fine 9 fine but 17 no 17 should come here right so this is not so that's why our answer is option C we'll see some more questions in the next video lecture thank you